Okay, wow, it really hates the opening. Good to know. Good to know. Let me just, you know, get this set up properly. There we go. That's nice. That looks good. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to something brand new. Uh, I'm playing Stella Glow, as you can see here. Uh, apparently it hates the opening, so I don't know how, uh, how well this will go, but, uh, it's a bit of a trial run. We'll see how it goes, and if, uh, people like it, I'll keep going with it. If not, I'll switch to something else. We're, uh, kind of in that place. I was gonna finish up Devil's Survivor. I tried doing a stream of it a few days ago, but as it turns out, that last mission just kind of kept kicking my ass, and I just wasn't having any fun with it. I even tried going off screen, doing some grinding and stuff, tried it again like five levels higher and I was still getting my butt kicked so I was just like, well, I'm not having any fun with this and I don't know how much fun you guys would have watching me uh, struggle for my life over and over again and you know, getting increasingly frustrated at uh, the layers upon layers of bullshit. So yeah, uh, before I get started I just need to go tell people I'm actually streaming so they know what the deal is in case you were wondering but yeah I do a bunch of streams on Twitch and I port all my videos to YouTube so you can check me out either here or there and if in case you're interested in something like fanfiction reading I write a whole bunch of stuff there as well feel free to check out my patreon or just check out my archive of our own page Got a whole bunch of content there that you can check out. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it strikes your fancy. If it doesn't, then, you know, it doesn't. But, like, hey, gotta shoot my shot, right? Uh, as the inventor of basketball, James A. Naismith, once said, you can't shoot a basketball if you don't shoot a basketball. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Y'all know what I mean. Do do do. Uh, all right. Oop. Oh, is it actually running the opening this time? It doesn't sound like shit. Oh hell yeah. Guess what? You guys get to listen to the opening. Okay, it's long out bit here. Okay, it is slowing down. It is running at 50 FPS. Yuck. Yeah, I am uh, super early. Welcome to the stream, guys. Oh god, it doesn't like this at all. Why? Hello neighbors. Hello friends. Hello countrymen. Welcome everyone. Thank you very much for the host Sucka and Koro. Really appreciate it. Really wish this was running at like full, full speed instead of like this 50 FPS crap. It's like, oh, yeah, no, play the opening, damn it. Whatever. That that should give you a little hint of what this this game is like. So yeah, let's uh, let's just get started, shall we? Uh, gonna go with new game. Still has my old save files on here, even though I haven't touched this in a long time. Where is this? We should be fine this far out. Put him down. I quite enjoyed this game, which is why I'm choosing to play it now. But, uh, I'll let it speak for itself. It burns. My body. It's burning. Hang in there. Yeah, 
Yes, that's right. I... I fought. And I lost. We have to save her! Can't she do something about it? Well, if I can... I'm going to fight. Fight. And fight. And then... Kill me. I don't care who. Just kill me and these dark emotions. I can't. But we can't leave like this. If left like this, I would probably go insane. I'd hurt somebody. In that case, I'd rather die right here and now. I will die here. That is the correct thing to do. But I have a favor to ask. I want you to promise me one thing. This world, keep it safe. This suffering must never be repeated. What? This is something only you can accomplish. I understand. I'll protect this world you love so much. No matter who becomes my enemy, no matter what I must sacrifice. This promise will become a curse to you. Still, I entrust my wishes to you. You have done well. So let us act together. Until the day comes when your soul will shine again. This is goodbye for now. I'll be waiting for your return! No matter how long it takes. Years. Centuries. I'll still be there for you! Goodbye. So yeah, that's uh, one hell of a way to enter your game. <laughs> the story of Elcrest the hero. Once upon a time, there was a god on the moon. The people worshipped this god. And soon, a kingdom was founded. The Kingdom of Regnant. While the kingdom thrived, the people's faith in God dwindled. Makes sense. <laughs> God despaired over this, and sent an army of angels down to Earth to punish the faithless. Until one boy, Elcrest, stood up. Elcrest journeyed to where God resided, the moon, and gave his life to quiet it. Saved by his sacrifice, the Regnant Kingdom now regards and praises him as a hero. That's what happens when you punch God in the face, you become a hero. The end. And that's all for today. I'll continue the rest tomorrow. Aww. Tell us more about the hero Elcrest. Then wake up early and come to the square again tomorrow. Okay. You might recognize some of the voice actors oh, right. and voice actresses Have from any this game. Seen Alto? I saw him going to the forest this morning. Hunting again? Sheesh. But also, you might not. Alright. Now the real question, does this run properly in battle? I wonder if this is a good spot. Sounds fine to me. And all my trails home, you should recognize this guy's voice. Jackpot! Today's a special... 
special day. I'm bringing you home no matter what. Alto! L Lizette! How many times have I told you you can't go so deep into the... Surprise, we went deep into the forest and we found wolves. <laughs> Not the best situation, but oh well. Stay behind me, Lizette. I'm gonna show these wolves the power of eminent domain. Alright, so we get to hop right into battle, like 10 minutes into the game. That's always nice, isn't it? Alright. Have you ever played Fire Emblem before? <laughs> no. It's a little similar to Fire Emblem, but you have a uh, turn order like this. Faster units get more turns, etc, etc. <laughs> Alright. So all these wolves get to go first, and then I'm right. up. Here I go. Ugh, I wish I didn't have to go through all these tutorials again, but you know, move your character to move your character. You could obviously move right in front, or you know, try to flank it. I'm gonna try flanking it. The first attack's mine. So, once you're in range, you can attack enemies, obviously. So, let's go punch this thing in the deck. I'm ready. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, a little hiccup, but it seems to be running alright. I hope it just doesn't hiccup every time I do that, because that might be annoying. So, yeah, uh... Honestly, it's more like Final Fantasy Tactics and how the uh, turn order and stuff plays out. Uh, for the time being, let's keep an eye on this it's enemy here. Turn. Uh, Lizette can't get any closer without getting in trouble. So let's just wait right here. Also, the wolf's coming. Got it. I'll counter it. Alto is a boss, and he can actually counterattack, which is nice. If Alto is attacked by an enemy, he will counter the enemy if it's within his attack range. Blah blah blah. This is payback. Basically, the counter is really good because it gives you twice as many attacks on your character. for the back attack. Here I go. Dang it, I did not get the kill. You can also uh, choose to turn animations off with X, so we're gonna show off what that's like. Yeah, you just kind of poke it. I'm not gonna use I'll double go. slash on an opponent with one health. Come on, game. Be reasonable. I'm ready. Alright. First kill. First blood. <laughs> oh. That was rude. I thought he was gonna get up on the log and hit me from the front. I guess not. Now's a good time to do some double slashing because Alto's in a bit of a sticky situation now. I'm ready. Oh, I should have I should have left the animation where it was so you could actually show it off. It's my turn. Now I'm gonna have Lizette kill this one off. 
Here I go. Never mind, I thought I could do more damage. And I can't get through the thickets, because they're they're thick. Ha ha ha. Alright, um Let's go heal Alto then. Make sure Here he uh, doesn't die on me. And if you're attacked from behind, you can't counter, so keep that in mind. I'll go. I'm ready. Whack. All right. You're stronger. And also, when you kill an enemy and level up, you get to restore all your health back. So, using level ups to recover is actually a pretty smart way of going about things. Still gonna stay on the stand bridge, though. So as you can see, doing more damage, enemies are doing less damage, level ups are good. Get as many level ups My as you can. Live that dream. Uh, was there no way to actually show the enemy's movement range? Guess not. Alright. Come at me, clown shoes. I'll go. Weird, it didn't attack. Fortunately, I can't attack either. Yeah, not from that distance. It's my turn. Here I go. Whack. Interesting that it just wants a piece of Alto instead of uh, anyone else. But hey, that's that's how these things go. Alright. I'm ready. Remember to turn animations on for this. Hold stance! One, two. And yeah, that's Alto's move. Pretty it's cool. My turn. And that's Lizette attacking with her stick. Uh, she gets better. Trust me. She just, she's just kind of lame right now. Hey, Lord this of All Slots, that. welcome to the stream. And uh, hope you're ready for some hot strategy RPG action. All right, mission complete. So yeah, it's just a tutorial fight. You don't get much other than golden stuff. Meat. Golden meat. That could have gone really badly. Thanks for coming. You were a great help. <laughs> sure, but do you always come this far into the forest to hunt? No, but today is special. What do you mean? Let's hurry home. Everyone in the village gets a bite too. We're gonna give everybody in the village a taste of our schmeat. Mm mm mm. Say hello to our home village, where nothing bad will ever happen to it. Because it's a starter village in a JRPG. My, you're carrying a lot. Looks like your hunt went well. Dude, what's wrong with this guy's eyes? Looks like he has, like, butts for eyes. Yes, it was quite the haul. Here, this is for you. That is four and a half too many D and D games. Oh, what blessings from the forest! We must give thanks to the hero elk. We were just running out of jerky. Appreciate it. Mm, jerky. You got all this yourself? Impressive. I was just lucky today. I had advised against it when Rosa took you in three years ago, but. We should have kept you if we knew you'd become such a fine hunter. No doubt about that. How about it, Alto? You should marry my daughter, Mina. <laughs> Come on, Mina is eight. Hey, never too... No, I can't. I can't say that in good conscience. 
I don't think you're good enough for Mina. <laughs> Oof. Ouch. What's that supposed to mean? Who knows? Why don't we let these two head home? Rosa must be waiting. My god, I fucked that spelling. Oh. You certainly did. I didn't want to say anything, but yeah. Welcome back. Ah, so Lizette was with you as well. Damn, can I get on the mom route? Listen to this, mom. That Alto went too far into the forest to hunt and... Alto's a boy, dear. He should be allowed to do that sometimes. He's a boy. He should be allowed to risk his life. Besides, that's what boys do. A special day. Special? Do you mean? It's your birthday, you know. So we wanted to hold a feast for tonight. That's right. We went out into the forest and risked our lives for your sake. So you know, maybe some gratitude would be nice. Wow. You remembered. So, what do you think? <laughs> Thanks. See, look at that. Gratitude. Isn't that sweet? Lizette's a good girl. You're welcome. B but still, you shouldn't go so deep into the forest. If something happened to you, I... Uh-huh. I couldn't sleep at night. What does that even mean? <laughs> well, we're having a feast, aren't we? Go rest up until it's ready. I mean, she's tired of being friend-zoned, Alto. You gotta slam that like a broken door. Here you are. The main dish tonight is steak. It's cooked rare, just how you like it. W wolf steak? <laughs> I think we have everything ready. Now, let's give our thanks to the hero elf for this meal. Great. I'm so hungry I could... Um... Huh. <laughs> hey, look, it's purple. Lizette, you're the one who made this stew, right? It's a parent, isn't it? Really, really a parent. I don't know how you turn broth purple. Like, without food coloring, that is. I wonder why everything you make turns out purple. She should be making it exactly how I taught her, though. I thought I'd get it right for sure today. Well, it's alright. Looks aside, your cooking tastes fine. Haha. <laughs> I know what that's like. That's, that was pretty much my entire school life. It's like, oh, I'm tired, but you know what? Caffeine. Everything's fine. Everything was not fine. Of course. <laughs> well, have seconds and thirds then. Yeah, let's dig in. I think it's nice that even though she is like a bad cook, the only thing bad about her cooking is that it turns purple. Oh, like it tastes stuck. just fine. I don't even want to look at steak for a while. It's a nice change of pace from the uh, the klutzy girl who just can't cook at all and like teehee, but like yeah. You know. I think I'll swing by Lizette's room and... Alto, you awake? Nope, she's yeah, proactive. Come on in. I don't think I thanked you properly for today. Alright, well, you can, you can get in your hands and... No, <laughs> again, I can't say that in good conscience. No need. We're family. It's only natural to do nice things, right? I know that, but still, let me say it. Thank you, Alto. You're very welcome. Anyway, I was just on my way to see you. What about? I was going to say happy birthday. And I wanted you to have this. This pendant? Alright, we got her a pendant. We are, we are in, boys. It's the one I had on me when you saved me, Lizette. This is the only thing I have that I can give you. No, I can't accept this. Sorry. Not your taste, huh? It's not that. This is the only clue you have to finding out who you are, right? It's all the more reason for you to keep it. You accepted me as family three years ago when I had no memories. And you gave me my name. That is precious to me. 
I don't think I can ever repay you or Miss Rosa. So, I no longer have a need for this. What do you mean you don't need it? This village is my home, and you and Miss Rosa are my family. That won't change, even if my memories return. I don't miss them. That's why I want you to have this. Aww. I see. So, will you accept it? Of course. I'll treasure it. Oh, it looks nice on you. <laughs> Thanks. Today was the best birthday ever. Thanks, Alto. Good night, Lizette. See you tomorrow. No, this is when you, like, weasel in and say, Hey, you want to stay in my room a little longer? But, no. Would you like to save? Yes, of course. Uh, pay no attention to these save files and these characters. They aren't interesting. Shh, don't worry about them. Now, let us begin with your very own story. Oh shit, we're in Final Fantasy X. Listen to my story. Mm. No. <laughs> no. Never. What's that sound? Actually, I like Final Fantasy X. I don't know what I'm talking about. A bird chirping? No. Oh. Is it someone's voice? Alright, so... We're about to run into one of the strangest things in the setting. It's definitely human. And coming from... the forest, huh? It's this way. The voice is closer now. But who is... So you're the one. We found a girl. Who are you? You. Hey, what was that? A girl with a sick hat. <laughs> I've never heard such a nice sound before. Answer my question first. Who are you? I'm Alto. I'm from the village of Mithra. Alto, hmm? Strange name. It's it's the Granny Lolly. <laughs> Bingo. Uh, that's a little rude to someone you just... That was a song. Huh? I was answering your question. A song? Like a song you sing? But if you can sing, then who? Hilda. That is my name. Hilda. If you don't mind, would you sing that song again? You want an encore? <laughs> yeah. No one around here can sing. It was really beautiful. Yeah, uh, no one can sing. That's, uh, that's a part of the plot. You don't know anything, do you? What do you mean? Long ago, God took away song as punishment for mankind's arrogance. Only supernatural beings can sing now. Witches. Even children know this. Yeah. Why don't you know this, Alto? Oh yeah. Lizette told me about that. Um, wait. Then does that mean... P put two and two together, buddy. I believe in you. So, you're a witch? Who can say? By the way, I think you should run. Why? Can't you tell? They'll be here soon. Surprise! Slimes! It's just like my Japanese anime. Are those beasts? No. I've never seen anything like them! You're right. 
They're not beasts. They're monsters. M monsters Alto, was it? If you don't want to die, sit back and watch. Hey! You're going to fight them? I mean, she has a scythe. She should be fine. Didn't I tell you to stay back? I can't let a girl fight by herself! God damn it, Alto. Don't be so arrogant. You can't defeat them. Right back at you! I'm the best hunter in the village! Very well. Then you can watch from over there. And behold my magic. Behold my magics. <laughs> yes. I mean, you gotta, you gotta cut Jello to eat it, right? My time has come. Oh yeah, so I'm not I'll moving go. Hilda. She kind of just, you know, does her own thing. So, you know, just sit here and look my pretty and watch as this woman who is 30 levels higher than us beats the shit out of people. Like that. Hey. What was that? That monster disappeared in an instant. Spower of the overkill, sweetie. Severe punishment is in order for children who don't listen. Alright. Come at me, Jello man. She said darkness will swallow you. I mean, my time has come. Darkness will swallow you. The other thing doesn't sound so bad, but mm. <laughs> this guy can attack from range. Spits his fluids all over you. Cause he's gross like that. Didn't even load in the the enemy sprite. <laughs> uh, that's not. My good. time has come. Be, be careful. Yeah, she'll be fine. Don't worry about it too much, Alto. All right. You're stronger. Level acquired. Move acquired. Do them all for ourselves. My time has come. So yeah, Hilda's basically showing off, you know, just how strong she is, and how we're pretty pathetic in comparison. But we might as well try to get as much XP as we can. I'm finished over here. I'll leave the rest for you to clean up. Oh, thank you for actually leaving us monsters to kill. I appreciate it. Time to see your so-called hunter skills. Fine! I'll show you! at me. This is payback. One day I'll actually load in the enemy sprites. But today is not that day. I'll go. Uh, what does charge slash do? Okay, so I can attack up to two squares, but it has if something's directly in front of me, I have to deal with that. So, we'll deal with that. Out of my way! There for a second. Maybe it's because I'm streaming with OBS that it's uh, not spawning in the enemies properly. Well, whatever. 
This is payback. That one gone to counter range on its own. Okay. Suit yourself, sweetie. I'll go. I'm ready. Hold stance. One, two. Easy peasy. I mean, we're still in the tutorial, so obviously, easy peasy. It's finally over. Well, do you still want to treat me as just a girl? You sing, and you use magic. You really are a witch, huh? <laughs> Aldo! Jeez, tell me if you're going for a walk. I looked all over for you. Wait, who's this girl? Uh, oh, we just met. Her name is... Leave your village. Huh? I'll say it again. Leave your village immediately. Okay, but why? I will say no more. Lady, that doesn't Wait. help. Mithra's a really nice place. The water and food are good. Everyone's so nice. It's not as big as other villages, but it's busy during festivals. You should stay over sometime. I know you'll just love it. You're not listening. Because you're not explaining yourself. Use your words, woman. Jeez. I warned you. It's up to you whether or not you heed my words. Hey, wait! Where are you going? Goodbye. <laughs> she just left us. Why'd she tell us to leave? Sounds like I need to force a save here. <laughs> when I get the chance, I will, Koro. She's not from around here, is she? Are her clothes popular these days? Maybe. I don't know. I probably wouldn't be caught dead wearing what she was wearing. <laughs> Say, Lizette, can you sing? What? Don't be silly, Alto. Didn't we learn in Sunday school that people can't sing songs? Yeah, people can't sing songs. It's canon. We sure did. I have to get breakfast ready soon. Shall we head home? Yeah. Wait, canon's a music term, isn't it? I guess I can't say that. Tick tock, tick tock. And so it begins. A story. A story that is all yours. The rusty cogs spin. They squeak as if screaming. The cogs spin and the needle moves. Thousands of colors shine on dark times. Tick tock, tick tock. The curtain has risen. Time to tell the story of the moon and stars. Hey, the town hall is off limits. Don't let the children outside. Don't use the well either. Boil our stock of rainwater if you need it. What's all the commotion? Over there. Yo. What? What is? Oh my. Lizette, Alto, we told you this place is off limits. It's Crystal Man. What's going on there, Bogan? It looks like someone's trapped inside stone. Last night, Otto went on a hunt and didn't come back. <laughs> yeah, it's rock hard, baby. The search party and found him in the north forest. So this is Mr. Otto? He must have saw the lollibaba and then turned to stone. <laughs> it's just as it looks. We don't even know if he's alive in there. Is it a plague? Or some curse? Maybe the North Forest is to blame. Mr. Otto! I got it! What if we smash this stone with an axe? What if he's still alive in there? We already tried. Oh. No blade or axe can break this stone. Th then we need to find other ways! Calm down. I'll let you know when we decide what to do. Go home to Rosa. Don't leave the house until we give permission. But... Maybe you should listen to the crazy witch and flee the village. Alto, these are your mayor's orders. Sorry, but... 
If there's anything I can do, I'll be sure to call you. You're the best hunter here, after all. Look after him, Lizette. I will. I'm sure the mayor will have everything figured out. I hope so. At any rate, shall we go home? I'm sure Mom is worried. I might have clicked that a little fast, sorry. Yeah. Where were the both of you? I was so worried. I thought maybe you'd been hurt, or worse. Like Otto. We're sorry. Our neighbor Mina's probably crying. And her brother was just born, too. Damn it. Why did it have to be Mr. Otto? You really want to have a gender reveal party, don't you, Lord of All Sloths, don't you? Oh. This misfortune isn't anyone's fault. There's nothing we can do right now. I know that. But it isn't fair. I'm heading to the North Forest. I forbid it, Alto. Miss Rosa. You're too sensitive to other people's suffering. It's great that you can sympathize, but as your family, it worries me. Stop giving a shit about other people. You mustn't take it all in. That pain would control you otherwise. <laughs> Mom! Alto! Let's eat! The... Where'd that come from? <laughs> I feel like we'd lose to this negativity if we mope around. Since we can't leave the house, let's at least be happy in it. <laughs> You're right. That's it for this matter, then. Let's whip up something real quick. Alto, you help too. Those who don't work don't eat. You can peel the potatoes. I'll be making potatoes au gratin. Purple ones, right? Mm. I don't make food for meanies. Well, I guess you're not getting any purple potatoes, huh? That should do it. I'll have to apologize to Lizette later. Apologize to whom about what? Surprise, bitch. You're not as sneaky as you thought. Yeah. Shouldn't have stepped on that creaky floorboard. And just where are you going so late at night? I, I'm just going out for some fresh air. Wearing all that exploration gear? When you were told not to go out? Uh, <laughs> you always act on impulse when it's about helping other people. It's both the good and bad thing about you. He's a JRPG protagonist. What else is he supposed to do about his calling? I can't just sit around here. I know how you feel, but let's leave it to the mayor and his staff. If he feels he needs your help, he'll tell you. Your trip will be for nothing if you become too exhausted to help him. But... Alto... All right. I give up. Good. You can head back to your room already. No. <laughs> I don't trust you, so I'm bunking with you tonight. Aw, damn. Huh? No, it's fine. I... Scoot over. Don't I have any rights? Nope. You say something? Nothing. At all. Do you remember the last time we slept next to each other? The summer festival two years ago, I think. I ate way too much. I knocked out that night, and you got mad at me the next morning. I remember. Hey, Alto. Wanna hold hands? Damn, she's going straight to hand-holding? Lewd. Well, why are you asking? Well, the night of the festival, we slept holding hands, didn't we? <laughs> I just remembered that. Did that happen? So you forgot then? Forgot all about them holding hands two years ago. Jeez. No, I remember. Why, yes, I remember it well. All right. Give me your hand. Feels like it's been a while. Yeah. God, their hands are touching, guys. You can't see in the CG, though, so... Night, Lizette. <laughs> Are they really? Why, Auto Mod? Why would you do that? A 
small but happy village. It's almost picturesque. Agreed. But it's all the more reason we do this, yeah? You might recognize this guy's voice. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? No, of course you don't. Indeed. Make your preparations, Dante. We'll begin as soon as day breaks. Understood. May your song echo throughout the land. <laughs> Oof. Do I want to save? Well, I had to force the save, so yes, I do want to save. Pay no attention to that data, too. It's not important. Is he gonna go into the inferno? <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. You'll be fine. I can hear it. This is a song. What's the matter? It's so early. You can hear it. Right, Lizette? It's a song. What are you talking about? Only witches can sing. You're right. I do hear a strange sound. So this is a song? That girl's a s That girl? You mean from yesterday? Are you saying she's a witch? Surprise! She's a I witch. I heard her singing this yesterday, too. If she's really a witch, maybe she can heal Mr. Otto. H how do you mean? We learned that in Sunday school, right? Witches can use magic. Maybe she can use her magic to save Mr. Otto. <gasps> Go back to sleep, Lizette. I'm heading out for a bit. I'm coming with you! Why? Because the safest place to be is next to a JRPG protagonist. Obviously. If I let you go alone, who knows what trouble you'll get into. Besides, I want to help the village too. Alright. She might leave quickly again like last time. So let's hurry. Hilda! You disappoint me. I've told you several times to leave the village. I mean, I guess two counts as several, but still. You're a witch, aren't you? We learned that you can make miracles happen with magic. Fine. What do you want? I beg you, lend us your power. Power? We don't know what caused it, but a villager is trapped in stone. We can't do anything about it. If you could help us with your magic. <laughs> uh? <laughs> Surprise. You two are very amusing. What's so funny about this? It isn't a laughing matter wanting to save a friend from the village. Maybe you guys should think Indeed. what the cause is. Hmm. I suppose you're just foolish then. Hey Alto, would you say my name once more? Your name? It's Hilda, isn't it? Yes. Hilda. Hilda? Alto, her name's Hilda? What? You know her, Lizette? Hilda. The Black Witch. Because she's wearing black. <gasps> or the Witch of Destruction. Oh, that's not good. Correct. The very same. And I am the one who turned your friend into crystal. Wh what did you just say? Hey, where'd you stop the Song of Ruin? The crystallization isn't... Who are these runs? 
Who are you calling runts? Who the hell are you? I'm the best spearman in the Harbingers. The name's Dante. I also played your dad in Persona 5. Wait, what? <laughs> Remember it. It's the name of the man who's gonna kill you. Kill us? But why? We're both human! <laughs> it's because we're human that we kill each other. Yeah, we need we need an evil character who's like dressed completely modestly and then like a good character who's like, you know, practically in a bikini. What's with you? <laughs> Enough, Dante. Executing the Song of Ruin is our priority right now. Cover me. Got it. It's a good thing she's like a total flat chest or else, you know, that that I hesitate to call it clothing, but that clothing would fall right off of her. <laughs> Hold it! Running away, are you? Running? Hardly. Come forth, my familiars. Just turn on the 3D function of the 3DS. Hey, uh... You can't make a line three-dimensional even if you turn the 3D setting on. Ha ha ha. Monsters. <laughs> I'll begin the song now. I'm counting on you, Dante. Understood. Although I'm sure these monsters will be enough of these scrubs. <laughs> Which Sakura? Lizette! They're coming! Right! Oh, Naruto. I mean, Sakura wasn't flat. I mean, I haven't watched Naruto in like 15 years or something stupid like that. Now, it's not 15 years, it's, it's probably closer to 10. You lay a finger on this village. I'll do everything I can to save Mithra. I'll go. All right. It's work time. It's my turn. Zed has less movement than Alto, and it really sucks, especially like early in game. I'll go. It's like, oh yeah, she's always like a square behind. Kinda sucks. Just, just saying. I'm ready. Hold stance. One, two. I mean, all that Naruto running is probably giving, giving him some ginormous boobs. That's how tits work, right? This is payback. My turn. Yeah, seriously, Alto has five movement, Lizette's stuck at three. I knew her movement was like bad, but that's kind of just atrocious. I'll go. I'm just gonna move over here. And instead of actually hitting it, I'm gonna wait. It's my turn. Actually, let me check if this one has counter. I don't think it does. No, it has heavy strike. Here I go. Huh? Well, that's kind of dragging behind levels, so. This is payback. I wanted to give her a chance to not like completely get wrecked. In the future. All right. I'll go. Are they not even targeting Lizette? Really? I mean, I guess. I'm ready. Hold stance. One, two. Alright, Lizette, get the kill. Lizette, get the kill! <laughs> it's my 
turn. Here I go. Yeah. Go on, give me a level. Nope. Not even close. Well, well. So, you've taken them all out. Yeah, they're only level twos. Come on. Impressive for country bumpkins. Too bad you're out of time. Hilda. Listen to the song of destruction. Here. Oh, too bad she came here. What is this sound? It's so eerie. It's a song. One of destruction, sung by a witch. This isn't good. Everyone, get inside and lock your doors. Well, it's not that, you know, God let witches keep songs. It's that... Supernatural beings can override God's laws, and witches are supernatural beings. What's happening? Basically, they said to God, Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Nothing we can do about it. This Rosa. Everyone. I mean, for destruction, it is very pretty. This. This can't be happening. <laughs> Out of context, that was really funny. <laughs> carried especially well today maybe i should name that the first episode oh no she's getting tentacled it's the same as always so what are we doing with these two runs kill them or they aren't worth killing hmm. let them go huh that's rare of you it's your lucky day runs get out of here before hilda changes her mind <laughs> hey you deaf or something? Hilda. Why? Why would you do something like this? Because I am a witch. Like that answers anything, god damn it. <laughs> Turn the village, everyone, back to how they were. Unfortunately for you, I'm the witch of destruction. Although I can cast spells that wreak havoc, I can't undo them. What are you saying? Stop joking around. Don't mess with us! Did you think I'd let you pass? Move! <laughs> At least you got spunk. You can't do anything here. Stop acting like you can! I won't kill you. Hilda's orders. 
But I'll beat you down so much you'll wish I had. Out of my way! Bring it. Yeah, enjoy one of my favorite tracks in the game. Alright. Uh, this dude was like 10 oh levels higher than us. But, uh... Maybe we can win this fight. I'm not sure if it was that Sash going to move. Uh, yes. Yes, he does. The reason for that is that Alto is, in fact, Robbie Damon. Oh, jeez, I'm only doing three damage to him. Okay, I'm probably not going to win this fight. Get some nice experience, though. We'll see. Bring it on. Maybe. Move! Mm, okay, maybe not. Get a hold of yourself. I, I, it's especially funny when you can consider the guy he's fighting is voiced uh voice is Shido. <laughs> Bring it on. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibilities? Shit. I don't know if I can actually die in this fight. I feel like it'd be a total dick move if I could, but I don't. I don't trust. Bring it on. I don't trust anything I can't kill immediately. I can't even counter him. I'll go. Is that honey? You need to move. But I'm getting experience. Bring it on. Move. All right, I, I triggered the plot. Weakling. <sighs> what a disappointment. You weren't even worth my time. Whatever. Just lie there. Wait! Stupid much? I just said I was gonna let you go. You think you can stop me? <sighs> Damned brat. I won't forgive you. I will never forgive you people. Is that right? If you want to die so much, I'll grant that wish for you. Dante. Die. What? The pendant went into her chest. <laughs> hey, isn't this the water quality careless of me? Things just got worse.
Uh oh. What is this place? We got swallowed into the darkness. Oh, right. I was engulfed in that black flame and... I know now. I wonder if I'm going to die like this. Kingdom Hearts is light! I was the best hunter in the village. But I couldn't protect a thing. Alto. Yes. Your name is Alto. Lizette. You don't need to be scared. My mom and I are your family now. I'm sorry, Lizette. I couldn't. This house, this village, is your home. So walk around with your head up. You're Alto from Mithra Village. No. No, 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 no! What am I doing? I almost gave up. I'm a JRPG she protagonist. If I don't protect her now, who will? I'm not allowed to give up. I need to be stronger. I need the strength to protect those precious to me. So you seek power? Who's there? Do you seek power? Of course I do! I'm going to protect Lizette. And I need the strength to do that! Lloyd Bannings, give me strength. Then I shall grant it. But no, you cannot turn back once it's yours. I don't care! If you say you have power, then give it to me already! Dong, dong, dong. Tune the girl. Tune the girl. I barely met her. Wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is why I named the uh, thing why I named it. We got to tune the girl. So enjoy this imagery straight up Modoka Magica. And you thought this was going to be your stock JRPG. Nah, it's got some weird shit in it, too. What was that? And where am I? You are inside this girl's heart. This voice again. Tune the girl. She's waiting for you. That's right. Lizette. Lizette, where are you? Lizette! We gotta go tune the girl. She's all the way over there. Found you. Lizette! You can hear me, right? And Oops. I I can't reach her from here. I have to get closer. Yeah, sure, I'll save again. Alright. Victory condition. Move closer. I'll go. But enjoy this uh, sick, uh, sick track. Mom got tentacled, and I'm sorry, but we gotta got snap you out of this shit. I'm so happy with how things were. 
Why did everything turn out this way? I'll go. I'll go. If I... If I have to keep feeling this pain... Just stay like this. I'll go. I don't think I'm supposed to attack her. <laughs> no, that'd be silly. Lizette! Alto, why are you here? So yeah, surprise, you have choices. Uh, don't choose wrong. I came to save you. And don't ever give in like that. I'm sorry. And thanks. <laughs> At any rate, we have to get out of here. Well, even if we do, where would we go? Ooh, I hit a big stream there for a second there. We don't have a place to go home anymore. It isn't gone. That's not true. It isn't gone. We still have a home. But it's not the same. Mom, everyone in the village, they're already... I'm not even using a guide from this, this is just from memory. And the last time I played this game was like four years ago, so... <laughs> kind of surprised. I won't forgive them. They took everything from us in an instant. It's unfair. Then again, I suppose these ones are easy. I remember some of the other ones being like, really archaic, I guess. Like... You can't, like, think like a normal person would think for them. You have to think, like, how that character would think at that moment. I can never forgive them. We have something we must do. Come with me, Lizette. We'll save your mom and everyone else and get our village back. Uh, I believe you can actually fuck up if you get enough things wrong and you have to, like, redo the missions. Um. It happened to me once, I think, with the later witch. Get it back? Yeah. Believe in me. Believe in me, Lizette. I'll always believe in you, Alto. Because she doesn't because she can't believe in herself right now. That's why you want to say believe in you. You're genuine and honest and filled with a courage I don't have. See? You're all right now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm still scared of fighting, but I want to protect my mom and the villagers. There has to be a way to reverse the crystallization. Will you help me find it? What are you asking? Of course I will. Mithra is my home, and we are family. Yes. Yes, you're right. All right. Take my hand. Okay. Tune the girl, guys. We did it. This phenomenon. Hey, that's. Surprise, bitches, we're back. You thought we were dead. Ha! Also, Lizette got a new outfit. Lizette? What are those clothes? I... I don't know. My body's so hot. It's weird. Sorry, I had to. What's going on? Sub to mean you get access to my emotes. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That was a tuning. What's that mean? Despise me. 
What do you want to do, Hilda? We'll need to regroup. Come forth, my familiars. It's time to hunt. So yeah, we gotta do this again. Seems a bit much for a couple of months. That girl is our enemy. Kill her. But deliver the boy to me alive. As you wish. Well then, the plan has changed. I won't go easy this time. You're gonna die, girl. Stay behind me, Lizette. No. I'm fighting with you. It's too dangerous. I can fight now. I don't know why, but I can. It's because you got secret magical powers inside you. Go kick some ass. All right. I believe in you, Lizette. We're coming for you, Hilda! All right, so she has Splash. And heal. So we finally got ourselves a mage. And Lizette's pretty okay? I mean, as far as healers go, she's what we got right now. I'll go. Magikarp, you splash. It's my turn. Okay, not quite in range for splash yet. You can see that heal restores 80 health, and considering we don't have anyone close to 80 yet, it's uh, pretty good until you like hit level 12 I'll or so. Go. Actually, no, like 15, I think, actually. Now the enemies start actually hitting with some some hardness to them. It's my turn. Here I go. Water. Jet. But yeah, boom. I think I'm a little stronger now. All right, was that's up to level two? Some more magic attack. Good stuff. This power. We can take them! Luckily, Hilda's not going to be joining the fray, otherwise we might be in trouble. Ouch. I didn't think Worky was in range. Also might die. This is payback! <laughs> Alto's in danger. I, th I thought he was going to get a level up from that. Whoopsie. It's my turn. Here I go. You'll be okay. This is payback. Well, still gonna get that level up regardless. You're stronger. I'll go. Nah. Uh, go for the one I've already weakened. I'm ready. Fourteen with the regular. I'm ready. Nah. Get the kill. Hold stance. One, two.
Get the kill. I'm ready. Whack. Now that we finally have like healing and magic and shit, we can progress Bring much faster. Oof. This guy still hits like a furnace. It's my turn. Want to stay a little bit apart for reasons. Here I go. Splash is useful. Okay. Yeah, in this game, Splash is actually pretty good. I think I'm a little stronger now. And Lizette's heals are definitely catching her up in levels, which is nice. I'll go. She definitely needs it. I'm ready. Luckily, we don't have to whittle Dante all the way down. <laughs> to think there'd be this much of a change. We just have to hit him once. Stand down, Dante. I'll fight them. Oh, right. Hey, wait. I can finish them off. Listen to my song. As you wish. Like throw a rock at her or something. We have to stop her. That's enough. Hilda, the witch of destruction, and her subordinates, the Harbingers. This guy's voice should also sound familiar to our to you trails fans out there. By order of her Majesty, we, the Royal Knight, shall capture you. A bunch of trouble just showed up. Fine. I'll take you all on. We're withdrawing. Hey, you sure about that, Hilda? Don't mind them. For now. That's presuming I can ever recognize voice actors ever. I mean, understandable. Hilda, wait! Goodbye. You might remember this man from such critically acclaimed roles as a uh, cr critical role. <laughs> um, but also, um, our good friend, the debaucherous prince. We have to follow them. And uh, Yusuke Katagawa. Wait a moment. That will not be necessary. Our forces are already in pursuit. Who are you people? Did you save us? Um, thank you. Thank you very much. It is the sworn duty of the Royal Knights. No thanks are needed. As Olivert Rice Arnor, no. Ah, I have yet to introduce myself. I am Klaus, retainer in service to Her Majesty's Regnant Royal Knights. Why are the Knights of the Capitol here? N no! We need your help. Our village! Yes. We are aware of what happened. If we had known sooner, this tragedy could have been averted. Commander Klaus! We've completed the transport of the villagers! What's going to happen to everyone? To my mom! 
We are moving them to the capital. We will talk in detail once we arrive. Huh? Are you bringing us there too? Please, wait! I'm grateful that you saved me and Lizette, but we have to... Unfortunately, you do not have the right to decline. From now on, you two will be placed under our surveillance. Under surveillance? But we haven't done anything wrong! I understand your frustration, but this decision comes from the Kingdom. It's because of the power I just used, isn't it? My body has become... strange. It's hot. My brain's a mess. And I don't feel like myself at all. I am sorry to say this, Lizette. But you have become a witch. Dun dun dun! the opening again. Naomi Suzuki's English isn't actually that bad. Do you want to save your story? Yes. Yes, I would like to save. Chapter 1. The Royal Capital. I've only been going for an hour and a half. It's too early to call it. <laughs> we have brought the Water Witch, and the other one, as ordered. That's right, we're the other one. Alright, you may pass. I can't see a thing. Wow, car, bitch! Water Witch, boy, we will remove your coverings now. Do not make a fuss. This is... Lambert, the royal capital. So this is the royal capital. Welcome to Lambert. We're really here. The villagers. Where are the villagers? The people of Mithra have been moved to a treatment facility. Water Witch sounds equally terrifying and mundane at the same time. I mean, she's a witch that uses water magic. I feel like that's just an apt description. A treatment facility? Does that mean my mom and the others are going to get better? That information is classified. So you brought us all the way here, but you can't tell us anything? I do not have the authority to say. Please inquire. Commander Klaus. Now that you mention it, where is that blonde knight? Bureaucracy strikes again. I'm going to find him. Uh, Alto! There's someone! Yeah. Yeah. 
I do not approve of those who break ranks without permission. Get out of my way! I need to talk to Klaus. There is no way I could allow a mere child to speak with the commander. This guy's voice should also be familiar to people. Maybe. He, he's in a lot of things. Um, who are you? My name is Archibald. 28th head of the Archibald House. Protectors of this kingdom for ages. Patrick Slates. My job here is to provide direct assistance to Commander Klaus. Welcome to the royal capital, Lady Water Witch. Witch? Her Majesty was delighted to hear of your existence. Be sure to hold your head high when you approach the castle. The castle? We're going to the castle? But why? If she goes, I go too. Hmm? Are you her servant, boy? I'm not a servant. I'm Alto. Lisette's family. Does he speak the truth, Lady Witch? Yes, it's true. In that case, I suppose you may come along, boy. My name's not Boy. It's Alto. You must earn the honor of being addressed by me. Damn. <clears throat> well then, let us proceed. What a dick. We are now at the center of the Regnant Kingdom, Lambert Castle. Yo, is that Reen Schwarzer? N no. <laughs> it's it's actually Lloyd Bannings. <laughs> it's so big. Our entire village could fit in one of these rooms. Commander Klaus, as you ordered, I have brought the Lady Witch. Good work, Archibald. And it's it's Oliver. The gang's all here. Furthermore, this boy wishes to accompany her. Alto is not a problem. He was involved in the incident as well. It seems he was left off the report. Remind me to scold that messenger. Yes, sir. We were brought here without any kind of explanation. We have no idea what's going on. Can you tell us something? Anything? It has been chaotic here as well. My apologies for not explaining sooner. There are things I must tell you before you meet with Her Majesty. Her Majesty? Don't look her directly in the eye. She'll kill you. There is only one with that title in this kingdom. Queen Anastasia III. We're going to see the Queen? Be sure to refer to her as Her Majesty. Rudeness is unacceptable. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to worry. Her Majesty is very kind. You will be fine, as long as you answer the questions asked of you. Why are we going to see her, though? That is simple. It is because of Lizette. She will be the key to saving the world. Damn, that's a lot of pressure to put on a little girl. <laughs> Me? Save the world? There has to be some mistake. I'm just a... Childhood friend of a JRPG protagonist. You know, comes with the territory. Sorry. You were just a girl. But as of yesterday, you are the Water Witch. The Water Witch? Klaus, have the aforementioned people arrived yet? Ah, Regent Elmar. Yes, they are right here. Then hurry to the audience chamber. We cannot keep Her Majesty waiting. Hello, this dude. Understood. Right away. This freaking chin strap, holy shit. So this is the Water Witch. I... I'm Lizette, sir. You may be but a girl, but a witch is a witch. Deceitful to the core. Damn, what a dick. What? What was that about? How rude! Sorry for that, Lizette. The region can be quite difficult. It, it's okay. All right, then. Lizette, Alto, let us go see Her Majesty. I, Klaus of the Regnant Knights, have arrived with the witch Lizette. Splendid. Raise your head. This woman is Queen Anastasia. Surprise, the Queen's a cutie, too. Mind your manners, witch. Speak only when Her Majesty speaks to you. M my apologies. Elmar, there is no need to be so critical. Look, your 
have scared Lizette. This is a formal audience ritual. It must be performed properly. Then there can be no objections if I am the one to speak first. That is not a... Lizette, you and... I'm Alto, ma'am. I am sure your journey has been tiresome. Thank you for coming. This is my regent, Elmar. He and military officer Klaus are my most trusted advisors. Now, Lizette, I have waited long for the Water Witch to appear. May I ask a question, Your Majesty? Just what is a witch? What am I? You're a wizard, Eddie. Witches are ones who have been chosen by the Qualia. Qualia? The big stone you just ate. On this continent, there exist jewels called Qualia. There are five in total. Water, wind, fire, earth, and time. By absorbing a Qualia into her body, a girl gains the power of song or magic and becomes a witch. Qualia reside in highly empathetic girls. If a girl loses her empathy, that Qualia will search for another. The Qualia have passed through generations in this manner. However, the Water Qualia had not been seen for a very long time. I wonder why that is. Hmm. That is, not until you showed up, Lizette. But I don't know why. The pendant, it became a part of you. I see. That must have been the water qualia. But... Be that as it may, there is no proof. Your Majesty, we must first confirm that this girl is indeed a witch. We must burn the wit. No. Stop. Confirm. My dear, enter. If she floats, she's a duck. If she sinks, she's a witch. <laughs> ah, truly the most trustworthy person in the kingdom. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Medea. I had to rush over when I heard our precious bluebird had been found. This is Medea, our court musician. She is a music specialist. How do you have music specialists if nobody can sing? I mean, there is music without, you know, vocals, but still. So this is the girl. <laughs> what a lovely little thing. A witch can perform magic through song. Think you could sing for me? Sing? I can't. I don't know how. Oh, but you can. Close your eyes and dive within. Empty the depths of your heart. Lizette, please try. Uh, all right. Close my eyes. Dive within. There's no way she can... Lizette! So this is song. How bizarre. This melody is truly superb. I can feel it reaching out to my heart. Yes, Lizette. Now, bear yourself. Lude. <laughs> What's wrong? Lizette, are you all right? This can't be. If she were a true witch, she would be able to sing flawlessly. What are your thoughts, Medea? Well, I've never heard of a witch who can't sing. However, she did sing for a moment. There is no doubt Lizette is a witch. Are you sure you are not mistaken? Regent, are you suggesting that I'm lying to Her Majesty the Queen? Hmm. <laughs> That is enough. You may go. <laughs> well then, I will be taking my leave now, your majesty. Listen, Regent Chinstrap, you gotta, you gotta calm it down like about ten notches here.
The current situation regarding Lizette must be dealt with. But for now, let us rejoice in the birth of a new witch. Lizette, there is no doubt that you are the Water Witch. I know it's not actually a chin strap beard, but I'm just going to keep calling him that because it makes the most sense. And you are the only hope we have of saving this kingdom. Saving Regnant? Indeed. From Hilda, the evil witch of destruction. This kingdom is in grave danger. Hilda has used her song of ruin to crystallize towns across the land. Gathering her followers, she formed a coalition called the Harbingers. The evil mini-boss squad. Almost a third of the kingdom has already fallen by her hand. As a result, your town of Mithra has also been enveloped in crystal. The Harbingers. They think they're saving people? Well, wait a second! Why can't Hilda be stopped? Isn't this the royal capital? There are so many soldiers here. So why? Of course. We are treating Hilda as a high-priority criminal. Then why not? Stopping Hilda will not save this kingdom. Restoring the citizens who have been crystallized will. <sighs> then... there's a way to save them? Perhaps. It involves a holy song. The Anthem. Anthem? Isn't that... Wasn't that like a really shitty game that EA released? Or am I thinking of something else? It is a celebratory song that is said to lift any and all curses. Seeing as crystallization is a type of curse cast by Hilda, the spell on the citizens should break if we recite the Anthem. Uh, oh, Canada, our home. Wait, no, shit. God damn it. My mom, too? And the other villagers? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> of course. Then, I'll do whatever it takes. If, if I can sing this anthem, everyone will be saved, right? Your enthusiasm is welcome. However, the anthem is not a solo piece. What do you mean? It is an ensemble piece. We will need four witches to perform it. <laughs> four witches? We gotta find more witches. We have already sent word requesting the presence of the fire witch. The wind is to the south, and we are currently searching for the earth. I didn't realize there were so many witches. It's almost like there are five witches because there are five qualias or something. Hmm. The water witch was the only one we had no information on. But now that you have come, we can finally commence the anthem program. Would you lend us your strength? I don't have much experience with these kinds of things. Don't worry, Sloths. I can't sing either. But I'll do anything to save my mom and the others. Lizette. You have my thanks, Lizette. Well then, by the names of the hero Elcrest and Queen Anastasia, I hereby declare the Anthem program officially launched. Elmar, you shall continue to assist me here in Lambert. Klaus, assemble the 9th Regiment and obtain the remaining three witches. Yes, Your Majesty. I will do as I am commanded. Lizette, I apologize for placing this heavy burden on your shoulders. However, you are our last hope. I beg of you, help us. Of course! And so we've made it past the plot stuff, and now, now Klaus doesn't want to talk to us anymore. <laughs> Master the four waifus and stop the death lolly and bring back balance to the world. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> now then, this marks the conclusion of the audience ritual. Archibald. Present, sir. Her Majesty has called for the 9th Regiment to assemble. Please prepare the selection exam. Ah, the time is finally upon us. As you wish, Commander. Commander. 
do you two see what is happening now? My thoughts are all jumbled, but kind of. We have to get three more witches in order to undo the crystallization. And I'll need to be able to sing by then. So, that means you'll have to practice? Lizette will join the 9th Regiment and work alongside me. The 9th Regiment? What exactly is that? <laughs> it's a night squad under orders from Her Majesty to carry out the Anthem program. Defeating the Harbingers and gathering the Witches are our top priorities. So what are you going to make Lizette do once she joins you? She will help us with the Witches. By help, you mean she's going to fight? Indeed. <gasps> we must overcome any obstacles that may block our path. Lizette may not be able to sing, but her magic is a valuable source of power. <laughs> then, I'm gonna fight too. Hmm? I promised Lizette. We're gonna find a way to save the people of Mithra together. If gathering the witches will accomplish that goal, then let me fight too. Alto? Your bravery is admirable, Alto. However, the 9th Regiment is an elite squad for only the most battle-hardened knights. An amateur like you would likely slow us down. But... I have not finished. We will be holding a selection examination for the 9th Regiment tomorrow. I am sure many highly trained soldiers will be vying for the opportunity to join us. If you truly want to be a knight, partake in the exam and show us what you can do. I will. Also, no, it's too dangerous! Lizette, the boy wants to fight for you. You should respect his wishes. But... Sorry, Lizette. You're always so impulsive when it comes to helping other people. Isn't that a good thing? Not at all. <laughs> it's nice that you two get along so well. Excuse me, Commander. The Mithra residents have all been transported to the treatment facility. Mom, is the treatment facility near here? Yes, it's to the northwest of the castle. Please visit only during permitted hours. Thank you. I suggest you two go there. See the ones you must protect, as well as the reality of this kingdom. Okay, let's go, Alto. Yeah. So, this is the treatment facility? There are so many people here. This is terrible. It's more like an internment camp than a treatment center. Where's my mom? Over here, Lizette. Mom, she looks like she's in a lot of pain. Damn it. Why? Why our village? Mom! Don't cry, Thomas. Mom's still alive. But she looks dead to me. The Queen will fix her, Thomas. Somehow. All we can do now is pray for Elk's divine protection. Okay. It's not just Mithra. There are more. So many more people have been crystallized. Hilda, why would you do this? Because she evil, though. Bitches be cray-cray. Yeah, they, they definitely ran out of budget. So this is where you were. I was looking all over for you. Lizette. Wow, I can see the whole city from here. Though I don't really like how high up it is. Lizette, I'm sorry. Huh? For what? Maybe this is all because of that pendant I gave you. Hey, don't say that. If it wasn't for that, we probably would have died back in Mithra. Actually, I'm thankful. Thankful? I still don't know what witches are, and I'm scared of fighting. But because I'm a witch, 
I might be able to save Mom and the others. And not just them. Everyone in the world who needs help. That's how I feel. You're really strong. Plus, he'll be by my side, right? Don't pressure me, Lizette. But I will pass. I will become a knight. Alto, I believe in you. Isn't the test tomorrow? You should get to bed. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good night, Alto. Good night. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you. Is this where the exam's being held? It looks pretty empty. Budget's back. Mr. Klaus, it's me, Alto. Is anyone there? Uh, what kind of moron is out here yelling this early in the morning? Uh, sorry. Uh. This voice should also be familiar to people. I drank way too much yesterday. You mind keeping your voice down? Sure. Um, are you one of the Royal Knights? Hmm? And who are you? My name's Alto. I... Uh, I'm here to take the 9th Regiment Selection Exam! Yeah! God damn, I told you to keep it down. Doing that on purpose? Say hi to Drunk McBurn. S sorry, it's not on purpose. Honestly. <sighs> I really don't get you kind of people. Although he's kind of using his Lecter voice, so it's more like Drunk Lecter. <laughs> you want to be a knight so bad, you can trade spots with me any day. You must be joking. You dare call yourself one of the honorable regnant knights, Rusty. <clears throat> I have not seen you since Grenna. And I hope I'll never have to room with someone as loud as you again. I can say the same for you. Breaking curfew is bad enough, but bringing back a lady? Inexcusable! <sighs> There's nothing worse than a jealous, unpopular tightwad. <laughs> hey, uh, Alto, uh, you want to end up like him? I... Ah, that boy from the other day. Are you lost, boy? He said he's here for the exam. That's right. Please let me join the 9th Regiment. Sheesh, how annoying. Only the most elite knights apply to be members of the 9th Regiment. Simply seeing those skinny arms of yours is enough to turn you away. Wow, rude. What are you, some kind of armist? Elite? <laughs> Don't you mean the rejects? Are you referring to yourself, Rusty? Anyway, if you want to be a knight, Try starting with the Sentry Squad. I don't want to be a knight. I want to protect Lizette and save Mithra. <sighs> save the dreaming for when you're asleep. Hey, Archie. I'm gonna take a nap till the exam starts, okay? I know. If Naps McGee can get you a well knighthood, so can we. Alto. Rusty, Archibald. Please allow him to participate in today's selection exam. Yes, sir. You freaking serious? You can do it, Alto. I'll be cheering for you. Glad somebody's on our side. Thanks, Klaus. You're a real one. Don't worry. I'll pass. No matter what it takes. <sighs> I don't remember joining this team just so I could be a babysitter. This is a serious mission, Rusty. Please treat it as such. Yeah, yeah. Is this where we're supposed to meet for the 9th Regiment Selection Exam? Let's hurry up and start. Must be a craze some hack and slash action. No, we're not we're not in a Musou game, guy. We're we're in a strategy RPG. Oh, it seems the hopefuls have started together. The selection exam will now begin. Participants, prepare for battle! Well, well. Looks like it's time to play with some newbies. What a bloodthirsty group. 
Let's end this quickly, Archie. I'm not one to hold back. Be sure to surrender before I hurt you too much. You dare underestimate me? Here I come! Man, he's even more meatheaded than you, Archie. You think you can carry the honor of the 9th Regiment with such little skill? He's so strong. Monster! It is not cowardly to retreat when faced with death. I won't. I can't give up. Alright. We just gotta try hard. We don't even have to win. My knife's real quick. You're gonna be dead meat if you can't dodge it. Did he just use a power fist? Sure. Let's give it a go. Yeah, bet your sweet bippy he did. Slice you up. <laughs> yeah, Rusty is pretty great. Prove yourself to the Archibald family heirlooms, my gauntlet and shield. Come to me. Can you handle? He's pretty good. I'm ready. Yeah, um uh, I can get one whole damage off. Well, let's let's go after Rusty. I'm ready. I can at least do four damage with a regular attack to him. I'm yeah, you're ready. not you're not expected to win this fight. Don't worry about it. Hold stance! One, two. Just do your best. Let's go. Let the cannon fodder die on their blades. <laughs> Rusty also has counterattack, so he's pretty great. Sure. Let's give it a go. He's also not on our party yet, so instead of him being great, it's just him like owning bones. Let's go. <laughs> Come to me. Can you handle this? I'll go. I'm ready. Hold stance. One, two. Just going for damage here. Nothing else matters. Sure. Let's give it a go. I'll slice you up. <laughs> that man's dead. Now that we're out of cannon fodder, I'm dead. Come to me. Can you handle this? Nope. Sure. Let's give it a go. I'll slice you up. <laughs> This is payback! I'll go. I'm ready. Whack. Come to me! Alright, and now Archie's gonna kill me. Can you handle this? That is enough. <sighs> Time up already? I was just starting to have some fun. Rusty, lower your blade. Alright, alright. <sighs> so this is how strong real knights are. It appears that you're the only one left standing, Alto. Fine work indeed.
Yeah, literally all he had to do. Survive. <laughs> we started with a bunch of knights, but this kid's the only one left. They were the royal knight elites as well. How pathetic. Rusty, what do you think of Alto's abilities? He's terrible. His attacks are one-dimensional and way too easy to predict. It may work fighting beasts in the forest, but not for the ninth. <laughs> that said, he moves fluidly, and his intuition is sharp. I say he passes. Damn, Rusty, why didn't you just start with that? He was the only one with spirit befitting of the ninth regiment. It appears you are worthy of being addressed by name. My apologies, Alto. Then... Yes, you have passed the exam. You are hereby a knight of the 9th regiment. Well, that was easy. Other games might have you, like, prove your worth for an entire chapter before, like, hey. I did it! Yay! Congratulations, Alto! Thank you so much, Mr. Klaus! No more of that Mr. stuff. You are a regiment knight now. It's Commander Klaus. So sorry, I mean, uh, Commander Klaus. Well then. Consider this my official welcome to you, Alto. Let us work together for the ones we wish to protect. Alright. And now that we're a knight, these guys joined our party. So yeah, we got uh, three dudes. Klaus, Rusty, and Archibald. Well then. Heh, <laughs> you thought this was just a waifu collector. Nope, we're also collecting husbandos. Now that the exam's over and done with, let's go find us some witches. They must train first. Alto, Lisette, come with me. You need to get more accustomed to battle. This training, what are we going to do? Hmm. There have been reports of monster sightings in the forest to the east. We shall go there and take care of them. The monsters in the eastern forest are weak. Perfect for new recruits. We gotta beat up some monsters. Oh yeah. Seriously? How boring. <laughs> well, that will be all for today. Archibald, Lizette, and I will go to inform Her Majesty of the news. Rusty, show Alto around the barracks and prepare for the mission. Oh boy. Here comes the babysitting. What was that? Oh, nothing. Sure. Sure. I'll do it. <laughs> I have high expectations for you, Alto. Thank you, sir. Now do our laundry. It's a very important duty as a knight. Come on, let's go. Keep up, Alto. Make sure you wash all the blood stains out of my underwear. Why do you have so many blood stains in your underwear, sir? Chipotle. <laughs> no. Well then, these are the night squad barracks. Night barracks. This is amazing. Don't get your hopes up. Come on, in you go. Wow, it's beautiful inside, too. Eh, it'll look pretty normal to you soon. This way, let's go. Uh, uh, okay. This'll be your room from now on. Use it however you want. Um, this looks like a storage room. Got us some slack. That exam came out of nowhere. Just be glad you have a room at all. Might be a bit dusty, but... You know how to clean, yeah? We'll be getting up bright and early tomorrow, so make sure you're prepared and rested. Now, my baby is sitting assignment, it's all over. I think I'll take a bath to celebrate. Right. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your uniform. Oh, what's this? It's crap, but rules are rules. Commander will get on your ass if you're not wearing it. Thanks, Mr. Rusty. <sighs> Don't call me that. Gives me the creeps. I'm Rusty. Just plain old Rusty. Me and Archie are the same rank as you. Don't go getting all formal on us. But... Alright, consider this an order. I command you to call me Rusty. Uh, I understand, Rusty. Alright. Well, that's it. I'll be counting on you, new kid. Can I come in? 
Yeah. Technically, yes, but Alto is the dumb new kid, so he can give him orders. What's wrong? Why the sigh? So much happened today. You're right. We were just simple villagers. But now we're royal knights. Yeah. Hey, Alto. Thanks. Huh? For what? I said I was ready. But honestly, I was worried. I was really happy you fought by my side, though. I'm glad to hear that. And as I watched you take your exam, I came to a decision. I'm going to do everything the best I can. Including jumping your- wait, no. We're new not to yet. This, so not everything will go perfectly. But there'd be no reason to be here if I wasn't going to do anything. Yeah, you're right. I barely scraped by today. I'll have to work really hard to keep up. Yeah, let's do it together, Mr. Newbie Knight. Alto and Lizette are cute together. I like them. Do you want to save? Hell yeah, I do. As you can see, our our buddies outlevel us by quite a bit. Uh, eight, six, and seven there. Well, we're still four and three. That's why they want us to train so we can catch up to their levels. And we got ourselves a new outfit. All right, I'm ready. This uniform. Is it really what a knight is supposed to wear? It's kind of embarrassing. Good morning, Alto. Commander Klaus is looking... Huh? What are you wearing? D don't sound so surprised. Damn it. Maybe I should just take it off. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just wasn't expecting it. That's the knight uniform, right? It suits you perfectly. You don't have to try and make me feel better. I know it doesn't look good. Don't say that. It does. Really. All right. All right. I'm not going to go give you anything just because you're being nice to me. Come on. Let's go. Good morning. Hmm. It appears anyone can look adequate in the proper clothes. <laughs> you're a stunner, Alto. I can tell you're making fun of me, Rusty. Ah, Alto, Lizette, good morning. Today's mission will be to defeat the monsters in the Eastern Forest. Please prepare beforehand. Prepare? The Royal Capital contains many shops, which are quite useful to us knights. I suggest you go introduce yourself, Alto. Uh, yes, sir. Rusty, show him around. I've got to babysit again? Thanks, Rusty. Ugh, I don't got much of a choice. Follow me. Rusty's just thrilled to be here. This is the center of Lambert, Main Street. W wow, there are so many people here. Surprised me too at first, but you'll get used to it soon enough, though. So, what shops are good for night supplies? Well, take a look at this map. There are two that you gotta know. Bianca's Armory sells weapons and consumable items. Franz Atelier, on the other hand, sells jewels called orbs. They love us there. Just say you're a knight, and they'll help you out, no problem. Come back once you finish your shopping. I'll be chilling here. Got it. The red makes it so they don't need to clean off the blood so much. The white, not so much. <laughs> This is how you shop in the game. We can finally open the menu. Two hours in? <laughs> Mission time. Alright. So, here's what our menu looks like. As you can see, we can mess around with our equipment now. We don't have any accessories, but we do have the spare healing herb. see what our guys have for weapons and armor and junk. 
But let's go check out the armory first. Welcome. Hmm. There's a face I haven't seen before. Are you a new knight? Yeah. That means you'll be a regular from now on. My name's Bianca. I work here part time. This is also uh, Makoto Nijima. <laughs> You're a part timer? But isn't the shop called Bianca's Armory? The owner's out traveling the world, so I'm basically running this place. I decided I might as well change the name while I was at it. Uh, oh, that's how it works? Is that also Asuna? Yes, it is also Asuna from Sword Art Online. And uh, Rhea from Fire Emblem Three Houses. And plenty of other roles that I can't name off the top of my head right now. But she is in a lot of things. Yep, exactly. We've got everything here. Weapons, armor, accessories, items. <laughs> That's like the one VA I would recognize for some reason. I mean, she is pretty popular, so it's... It's a good one to recognize. If you're in the area, don't be a stranger. <laughs> this is how you shop. You can only use items you have equipped. Pretty simple. You can also cash in on exchange items, which drop when you beat monsters. Like all those wolf meats and fangs we got. Alright, so. What would you like? Let's see what we got. Uh, I won't be able to afford everything. But at the very least, let's get a better sword for Alto. Thanks! And a better staff for Lizette. Yo, Alto, can a witch come up in your crib? Also, we've got some accessories there. They're okay. But nothing to write home about. As you can see, we can't actually buy anything for... Well, can't buy any... Heavy stuff, but we can buy light stuff. Make it less likely that Lizette dies seems seems a-okay to me. Thanks. All right, and that's practically all my money. Okie dokie. What are you selling? There you go. You can also talk. <laughs> I only ever noticed that one bad guy voice. <laughs> Weapons and armor don't mean a thing if you don't equip them. See you Makes sense. Anyway, let's go to the atelier now. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I was told to come here by a guy named Rusty. Ah, a friend of Sir Rusty. I'm Franz, the owner of this shop, and this is my daughter, Rena. Okay, yeah, I also recognize this guy's voice. Say hi to Ben Diskin, aka Yusus Alberea. Nice to meet you. AKA number one and number two from Kids Next Door. <laughs> My name's Alto. Nice to meet you too. Uh, AKA Jack from B Stars. <laughs> so are these some kind of jewel? Alto, you've never heard of orbs? The hell are orbs? No, this is my first time. Then allow me to explain. These are special jewels called orbs. Nani? Orbs can have very strange effects. They're known as mystery gems. Here in the capital, we use them to light fires and sanitize water. Whoa. Me and my papa put orbs in weapons. You put them in weapons? When you put an orb into a weapon, the weapon will gain new properties. Here, as a welcome gift. Hey, we got some orbs for sure? free. Oh, don't worry yourself over it. We have surplus stock at the moment. This store sells a wide variety of orbs. Please, buy whatever you like. They say wide variety, but, uh... 
right now, not so much. Some weapons are powerful, but only have a few slots, while weaker weapons might have more, yada yada yada. They're, they're materia, for you? essentially. What would you like? And like I said, it, this is his stock. That's all we got. We got aim orbs and attack orbs. I'll take an extra attack orb because Thank you very much. I've got the money. But yeah. I await your next visit. And that's that. Alright, I got a hang of this babysitting gig now. Next. Huh? What store is that? The line is huge. And that's the biggest pastry shop in the whole damn city. Recently got a killer review in this famous guidebook called Mr. X's Just Desserts. Wow, even pastry shops draw crowds? I guess this kind of thing only happens in the capital. <laughs> yeah, the people here are still oblivious to the danger outside. Well, look at the time. We should probably drop by your room before we head out. Got it. Hey, we can now go to Alto's room. Anyway, uh, let's go put in some orbs. Give Alto some aiming. And give Rusty the attack orb. Easy peasy. I guess I should write down everything that's happened before we leave for the mission. In Alto's room, you can record your progress and refresh yourself on the events of the story so far. Saving is especially important, so be sure to do it often. Naturally. And you can always check the story summary. The first mission that Alto and Lizette receive after joining the 9th Regiment is to slay monsters in the forest located to the east. It's nice for those people who like to, you know, put a game down for two weeks and forget entirely what they were doing. All games need story summaries, honestly. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna make this mission the last thing I do today, so... Let's go ahead and see what we can do. It's time for my first mission. I have to do my best. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not a problem. Have you two finished your preparations? E yes, I think. The eastern forest is close by. I would like to set out, but first... Alto, are you mentally ready? Uh, I am. You guys look like you're scared to death. By the way, Alto, in this night squad, newbies got to carry their superiors' bags for them. Today, I'll give you the honor of taking mine. E yes, sir. Rusty, you should not lie to your peers. W what? You were lying, Rusty? Come on, it was just a little joke. If you wish to tell a joke, you should at least tell a funny one. You wouldn't know funny if it hit you in the face. Not even naked girls can make you smile. N naked? Excuse you, we are in the presence of a lady. <laughs> hey, she laughed. You... How can this regiment hold themselves with pride and honor while you're around? I was just lightening the mood a bit. You know, make them feel welcome. Is this really going to be okay? Those two are complete opposites. However, they are both extraordinarily dependable. Well then, let us depart. Everyone, keep your guard up. Mission time. During mission time, you and your party will head out into the world, advancing the story. If you select the depart option, you will leave the royal capital. Make sure to prepare in the shops and facilities before beginning your mission. Yo, I think we're fine. Oh. Jiminy. That was concerning. Alright. Alto, do you remember what our destination is? We'll be going to the Eastern Forest. Right. Left. So yeah, uh, think Final Fantasy Tactics, but without random battles.
So, yeah, you can check out the map. But the only thing we have right now is this red one here. So, let's go ahead and fight. You also get free battles later, but we're still early in the game, so we're kind of locked in. This is the location we received reports from. Wow, looks like they're happy to see us. There's so many monsters. But there are only a few of us. Alto, Lizette, if you feel danger upon you, retreat immediately. This is a real battle. If you let your guard down, you may very well lose your life. Y yes sir! I won't let fear stop me. Nah, I can't hold my teammates back. So, this is a team battle. It's nothing like the hunts I go on. I'll have to be careful not to drag the others down. Hmm, a noble mindset for such a young boy. As you say, this is indeed a team battle. Depending on your teammates is vital. Our mission is to eliminate the monsters of the Eastern Forest. Everyone, battle formations! Alright then, let's go uh, murder some monsters. All our party members are required. I can't switch any of their positions, so... Nothing to worry about, just hit start and let's go. Pretty simple mission. Defeat all the monsters. Don't let your main, main character die. I'll handle this. So, tells you a bit more about the characters you got. Rusty is pretty amazing, because he gets a lot of turns. And speed is king in these kind of games. Let's go! It's time. Alto, Lizette, watch my movements and learn how a true knight fights. Klaus, the commander, excels at everything. His spear can reach two squares in front of him and can hit two enemies at once. He has a wide variety of skills, ranging from attacking to healing. Klaus can do a little bit of everything, thus cementing his role as a true party leader. Let us advance. So yeah, Klaus is basically a combination physical attacker, healer, um, you know, the usual. He's not quite as good a healer as Lizette, he's not quite as good a damager as Archibald, but, you know, he, he's just kind of useful in all situations. I, Archibald, will go forth. Archibald is slow and hits hard. I am coming. He is coming. I, I want to be useful too. So yeah, Lizette's squishy, but uh, she can do a lot of damage for you if you let her. Um, nobody's in splash range, so we're not going to splash mountain just yet. I want to drag in the other monsters towards us at this point. So... I'll go. Also, there's stuff about land types. Uh, basically, you can see what the things do on the stats up there. You'll want to be in places with higher evasion and defense if you can help it. But if you can't help it, you're still probably fine. Rude. Let 
Let us advance. Apparently I'm not close enough to bait them in yet. And Klaus apparently can't climb shit, so you know what? Just draw enemies in. I am coming. Apparently Archibald also cannot. I really wish they would move closer, but I'm ready. We cannot be so lucky. As you can see, Rusty just kind of single-handedly takes care of things, so... Let us advance. It can be pretty easy to just accidentally give him a bunch of experience. Here I come. I am coming. He is coming. Oh no, he figured out how to back attack me. I am coming. And his back attack kind of hurt like hell. Damn. It's my turn. Am I close enough to splash? Am I close enough to heal anyone who actually needs it? No. Here I go. Advance. Here I come. Let's go heal up. I'm ready. Don't want to accidentally bite the bullet here. Because losing Alto in this mission is a is a game over, so. Eat it. Do your best not to get game overs. That's my friendly word of advice. I am coming. Close one. 
Hey, that's my first dodge. Rusty can also dodge attacks because he has high evasion. Because it's not enough that he is just fast and can move really far and attack from range. He can also dodge, too. Let's go! I'm trying to leave, uh, he's alive so I can, like, get kill steals for my weaker leveled characters. Because I'm only getting one experience for, like, Let Rusty and all of them. Here I come. So I'm just softening them up a bit and hoping that's enough. It's my turn. I've met a special condition. I probably should have talked about these. Uh, Lizette defeats one or more enemies. Alto defeats two or more enemies. Okay. Means I gotta feed Alto some kills. I'll go. Luckily, that's what I was planning to do, I'm but... Yeah. It's good that I remembered to actually check that I had special conditions. Uh, clearing special conditions gets you uh, some nice items, so it's always worth your while to, to do so. Let's go. I'm gonna let Lizette finish it. advance here I come I am coming it's my turn out of juice that is not uh I'll go yeah it's not what you want to see I'm ready I'm ready hold stance one two let's go Pretty sure knife throw is friendly fire, so I don't want to do that. It's time. No, that'll kill it. And then say. I am coming. Here I come. That will never stop being funny. But yeah, just wait right here. advance let's go it's time if I need to get the kill with rusty I will but it's my turn here I go huh? I'd rather get Liz at the level if I can help it Oops. Fuck. I clicked way too fast. God damn it. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna, like, see what its health is. Let's no. Go. I guess not. Guess I'm not doing that. Alright. Well, I wanna get the item, so... I'll go. Alto, run. Let us advance. Go. Let 
Let us advance. I am coming. I'll go. It's my turn. Here I go. Sorry, Lizette. I guess I'm not getting you a level. Let's go. Let us advance. I am coming. I'll go. Yeah, yeah, get your free shot at Alto. That's fine. Dick. Let's go. Let us advance. It's my turn. Advance. I'll go. I'm ready. Okay. Did that the dumb way, but we got it. I could have charged attacked him actually. No oh, well, it happens. Anyway, because I cleared the mission, I got some healing herbs, mana fruit, and a couple of new, uh, a couple of new weapons. So hey, not too bad. Mission complete. All units return from the battlegrounds. I did it. Sort of. I'm so tired. Good job out there, you guys. That went quicker than expected. Alto, Lizette, for a first battle, that was quite impressive. Would have been more impressive if I didn't accidentally have you kill steal me, but shh, don't worry about it. Seriously, that was awesome, Alto. I got to goof off thanks to you. <laughs> Rusty, you're choking me! <laughs> you have great potential. You will only improve more with experience. Not bad for a first time. Impressive work as well, is that? I was sort of useless. Hey, you got a kill. Wow, well, your attacks ain't so strong. But your magic? That was really freaking cool. <laughs> Magic's amazing. R really? It is extremely reassuring to have someone like you in battle with us. I'm so glad. Both of you, very well done. That is all for today's mission. Our expedition to find the witches will begin tomorrow. Prepare well. Now then, let us return to the capital. Hoo-ha! Awesome. Well then, we shall disband for the day. Our next mission begins tomorrow. Rest well. Yes, sir. Alright, I'm off to find me some ladies. See you later, Alto. Yeah. <sighs> I'm suddenly so tired. Me too. My muscles are really sore. We should get to bed early then. I'm gonna head back to my room. You sound like some old drunk guy at a bar. But this milk tea is so good. Oh no, she's getting drunk off milk tea. I always want something sweet after I exercise. Well, we did put in a hard day's work today. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Ah, shortbread cookies from the Regenborgen Bakery? I remember you said you wanted to try pastries from the capital. Well, I saw these when I was out earlier, so I brought some back. But can I 
it really happen? I've wanted to try these ever since I saw them in Mr. X's Just Dessert. Let's eat before they get stale. As it turns out, the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. Mm -hmm. Let me try one now. All right, I'll have one too. <laughs> Shortbread. I only eat tall it's bread. Delicious. <laughs> Mr. X is really strict, but he gave this bakery five stars. I can see why. Hmm? Are these different from the ones that you make? What do you mean? They're like night and day. I think that's just anyone. I'm sure they only use the best butter and flour. Besides the color, I can't tell the difference. Fine, Alto. No more for you. I'll eat the rest myself. That's okay. I did buy them for you, after all. <laughs> Thanks. But why? Well, life's been pretty crazy lately. We haven't had any time to relax. <laughs> so, I thought you might want to munch on something to de-stress. I got something you can munch on, right? Wait, no. <laughs> you say that now, but you're just going to tease me and call me fat. Uh. Really, though, thanks. Yikes. It's not quite stress, but I was definitely nervous. This is my first chance to stop and take a breath since this all began. I see. I'm glad. Anyway, the other people in the 9th Regiment sure are strange. Yeah. I thought knights would be serious and almost saint-like, but Commander Klaus is the only one who fits that stereotype so far. Rusty is all over the place, and Archibald is serious, but... She's a little, uh, weird, huh? Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> but they all seem like good people. I think so, too. They all seem like a cast of quirky JRPG characters. We're finally going to start looking for the other witches tomorrow. Yeah. Let's finish this and get to bed. Tomorrow's another early day. <laughs> I mean, she's fat up top, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's do our best tomorrow, Alto. Oh, that's right. Hmm? What's up? I want you to have this. What is this? I found a rare stone earlier, so I had it made for you. Wh what? Back when those black flames surrounded me in Mithra? I don't really remember, but I'm pretty sure I heard your voice. I know now that you were the one who kept me connected to reality. This is just a way to show my appreciation. I see. Thank you, Lizette. I'll cherish it. Mm-hmm. Well, good night then. For real this time. Good night, Lizette. My dude, she gave you a ring. You gotta get in there. <laughs> All these dirty old guys begging for their lives are so funny. Stop messing around. Killing people is not our goal. But Hilda said I could kill anyone who fought back, you know? They're real dum-dums. We're just gonna pretty them up a bit. In that case, do not allow a single one to escape. It's coffee, Dad. Yeah, yeah. I get it, Beardy. All right, the whole town's sealed. Just gotta wait for Hilda's song. Hmm. Those two should be here by now. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hilda! Dorothy, Rodo, well done. So say hi to the rest of the Harbingers. One, two, three. <laughs> Damn it, Dorothy. You leave any alive? They kept flinging spears around like annoying little mosquitoes. Everyone is accounted for. Those who are not dead are in dreamland. Hey, Hilda! Let me hear your song. I want to see these dirty people turn into pretty jewels. Jewels, huh? I guess the way we trap them is almost like amber. Others will come for us soon. Hilda, we must hurry. Right. Then I'll begin. She sounds like a real reasonable lady. All of you, patrol the area. I think 
reasonable, lady, and real are all stretches. Understood. Nobody's gonna interrupt you this time. I won't let anyone get in my way. Not until the whole world has been filled with my song. Dun dun dun. Oh, I thought I was gonna get a save point here. Guess not. Your Majesty, the Nolan village of Vihan has been crystallized. Another one. Make haste. Rescue any survivors. My deepest apologies, Your Majesty. There are none remaining. <sighs> How horrible. Well done, soldier. You should go rest. Sir, yes, sir. That is the third one this month. They are truly gaining momentum. I've heard there are even followers hiding here in the capital. Indeed. We do not have much time. Knights of the 9th Regiment, I am counting on you. Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, we, we lost a jewel. Do you want to save? Yes. Alright, and with that, we've come to the end of Chapter 1. And I think this is a good point to stop for today, because we are running up on three hours now. Uh, so, thank you all for coming to the stream today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of a change of pace, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed the beginning of Stella Glow. Uh, kind of by the books as it starts, but trust me, it gets better. And, uh, I mean, it has a lot of heart, so... I feel like you, you should kind of... Wh whatever. Point is, I like it. I wanted to let it speak for itself. But, you know, that's how things go. Uh, in case you want to follow me, help out the channel, do all that fun stuff, feel free to take a look at the description below links below whatever go ahead and uh drop a follow a like a comment you know boost those algorithms and whatnot and uh in case you guys are interested in fan fiction feel free to check out my patreon or my archive of our own page every little bit helps in any case once again thank you all for coming and i hope you have a lovely evening until next time take care <laughs>